He's a courageous hero or a foolish villain, depending on who you ask. Alexis Tsipras arrived in Strasbourg to a mixed welcome. When it comes to Greece, Europe is still split. It's no exaggeration to say that my country has, over the past five years, been transformed into a, an austerity laboratory. However, this experiment, I think all of us have to accept, has not been a success. That was defiant. If Eurozone leaders thought he would be chastened after Tuesday night's emergency summit, they were wrong. Look around this chamber, you'll see to the far left and the far right you have a lot of applause. Mr Cyprus, the extremists of Europe are applauding you. It seems to me you're surrounding yourself with the wrong friends. The reaction says a lot. Not everyone was prepared to row in behind Germany. For the good of Europe, we socialists will never accept a Grexit. Never. What's destroying Europe is financial totalitarianism. What's destroying Europe is the arrogance of the German government. Irish people from Kerry to Derry stand with you. Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras, you use the most powerful weapon in the world, democracy. Greece has formally filed a request for a bailout loan through the European Stability Mechanism. They have until Friday morning to come up with concrete proposals for reform. And on Sunday, leaders from all 28 EU nations will decide whether to accept them. In a letter to the bailout fund, the Greek finance minister said, we propose to immediately implement a set of measures as early as the beginning of next week, including tax reform related measures and pension reform related measures. We trust member states appreciate the urgency of our loan request at this time, given the fragility of our banking system. At the Eurozone summit here on Tuesday night, there seemed to be relative unanimity. Greece had until the end of the week to find a solution or face leaving the euro. But while that may be the view of northern European countries like Germany, others passionately disagree, in particular those in the south. What we're seeing in this chamber this morning, and indeed across the whole of Europe, is an irreconcilable cultural difference between Greece and Germany, a split between the north and the south of Europe. Europe, the European project, is actually beginning to die. Alexis Tsipras can only hope the reforms that he proposes will be enough to unite a divided Europe. Sophie Ridge, Sky News, Brussels.